complaint with Boogie and Soleri backing him up. Uh, so there was a play around with Trixie as uh, Trixie has taken a bit of punch here from the creeps in the jungle as well as he passes by. He made Trixie's life really absolute hell. They have to keep the tether Dude, slow yeah, on He's him. still level one, of course, so uh, I'm going to have enough damage to bring him down though. Crush from Cinder holding back. You, you know, it's just Cinder and creating space. And like, you know, okay, take that damage and hey, Bambo's dead. Yeah. Um, and considering they are running this kind of this dual lane aggressively, it's not it's really like stopping Singh having a great time. And Sin. Oh, the courier as well. This, this thing, yeah. To start fighting. Oh, when do you think that is? What, what is oh, the key? Oh, Trixie going for the kill. With a back back, he needs to punch him one more time. The avalanche from Tiny will do the work, and he tosses him up, holds him in the oh! air. Cinder and can't create the space, so Sing Sing will kill off Trixie, and Cinder now needs. To and just a few hundred gold away from him, he's very close. Hani wants to go for this kill. It's just too easy right now. He has to self imprison. Hani still actually doesn't have Nova went three points up in Frostbite. The arrow from Coin, but there was one creep blocking it, but Hani says close enough to help out. <laughs> apart from a creep wave. Now there's help on the bottom lane. It's going to come with the form of the IO. Uh, but Cinder is the one he really wants. But oh. I suppose this will work. Toss That's nice. Half you've already used the surge, and Boogie rotates into the lane too. Yeah, really sweet little play there from Bean. It's on bottom. Then he can start working his way to level six. Oh, this is nice for Cinder as well. He has an invis room. Yeah, with um, the imprisonment already being used, there's no defensive abilities from Cancel. And Trixie can just back and back into the fight. But Avalanche and Toss the damage. Cinder again. Why is it always Cinder? He'll go down as a trade-off. Oh, yeah, that'll be fine. Unless they can find more Bean. And uh, Trixie, they certainly can. Sings in there with the toss back. They'll take one. But they're all the Star Storm from Koifer as he picks up a second and a third for NIP. As, I mean, Bean Boys look to be on the verge. But Bambo is still short. He's at 1600 at the moment. Ooh. Boogie the nearly got the telekinesis there. there. So there goes your rage. They'll waste the fissure. And Boogie will lose his life. He steals rage. But I won't really achieve much. It's the top tower where they're fighting and actually not even doing that. A relocate down the bottom lane. Singh has abandoned them. Yeah. is going to be left for dead as he heads back up. Maybe he can get the tether across onto Bambo. Look at Bambo's positioning. He's like, Fisherick, try to stay as close as he uh, can. He's like, no, I hey, can't save you. He, uh, he can't save him. Did he lose his own life for this? You won't get hit by the arrow and yeah, okay, they're not going to... Bad beam boys. They're going to be bringing the numbers. They're preparing to fight. Bambo has that blink dagger. Oh, Celery so close. The aggro slam. The vision with the avalanche toss combination. They may get them all. Honey will let the ult to go on the tree lines. And Era needs a man up as the life steal. A tiny is brought down. Hody and Brisbane will take Honey out of the field for now. And then back into it. The arrow flies fall. But Boogie has the rage. And Honey tries to stay alive over in the tree line. One charge is triggered. Still not enough, not, enough, not enough life to survive. As Era will move in. Turns on the armor. And on cancel. He blew the the ultimate, he did practically no damage whatsoever. Boogie will fall as well. And the rest of Nipper mopping up the piece of Celery will TP out to safety. Uh, tiny. Avalanche. Toss gonna go to work once again. Cinder is the focus, gets the uh, amplification off. Relocate into an era. Focuses instantly onto Boogie. They'll move over with Koi for the star fall. They want to kill off Celery, so there's no relocate out. He has three seconds to freedom, and he won't get that. Earthshaker blinks into the tree line and escapes that way. But amplification. Back up, go for the Moonlight, and they'll almost certainly have a very high chance of getting at least one off the back of this, and indeed Rubik. Instantly removed, and with the player off the map, and the push coming in bottom, Trixie's got the Alpha Wolf, they have that aura. They could put pressure on, but it looks like they're just going to move towards the easier towers, and Tier 1, very low in the mid lane, it's the easier objective. Bean, they are looking for the trade though, you've got Seeing and Soleri pressuring up top, and uh, they may just be able to find this Tier 1... Uh, in return, as it doesn't look like ninjas in pajamas are in a place to defend, they will start to TP. And in fact, well, with the instant play there onto the IO, they're, they're going to be able to get both of them there. There was a bit of a slow reaction. I don't know if necessarily they may sh maybe should have just gone for the straight relocate out. 1600 isn't really that much when you think about how much Nip is capable of doing damage wise. Oh, Bambo is going to walk straight into this smoke. And Era just racking up the blood and the kills. 9-0-3. So Cinderin, okay, the four stops there, but it's not gonna stop the Odie from dying. The Ara will connect on the Trixie as Odie has to go for his own defensive imprisonment. The amplification, Solomon McCann's against the ulti off, but Bamboo has to commit his ultimate as well just to kill off Trixie. But it's Sing Sing who goes down on the other side. So you can have a two for two trade-off, but the big man is still Era up and running. 
Celery can relocate, but into a bad position. Has to tether himself out. Koifer can't get there in time. And again, Bean Boys. I mean, as you said, they, they had the vision to, to kind of give them the edge. Not being blocked up, not being held away from his targets. And Eric can just destroy whoever he gets his claws on. And it's time to force the issue again. Bambo's going to get five seconds done and a blink dagger error. Oh, Celery tried to keep him alive, triggered the shrine, kept the tether up. But with an arrow like that, with five seconds. Good fail off and just had time to attack. So single be out to the town, the center and blinks in. The avalanche task can do some decent work. The Darcy are backing him back into the wall. Celery needs to actually survive through this. And so does Sing Sing. He's down to 37 HP, walks into the wall and actually dies to that. Bambo being pushed away, but another three man crush in from Sing Sing. Too much damage. NIP, remember what they're here for. They're here to attack in and, and gain the racks. And they yeah. haven't got that yet. They've I still got this Aegis on error. I mean, this is, yeah, NIP, they're, they're not going for the objective. Now, they, they don't want the kills. I mean, look at Error. He just wants to make as much use as he can of the Aegis, just going straight in. There you they, go. Aegis will crack. Sinner this is a down. little bit chaotic, I feel, of NIP. They are, they're getting maybe a bit grieving, but we'll, we'll see if it pays off as Koifer comes in the with the Star the Storm and Error again with the Rage. I guess they can certainly afford to just play around and go for kills. And they can worry about the racks later as Koifer picks off Bambo from the low ground. Boogie's down. Who needs racks when you can get the blood of the beans? Time and time again, cancel and sing. Can they do anything to stop this murderous onslaught of NIP? Error rages up, turns towards Sing. Sing tried to toss back the lifestealer, but he isn't going to be able to toss back the rest of them. NIP just cleaning up, and it's all too much, Toby. You know, the hilarious thing is about that whole Radiance top fight. Top I, it was like NIP was trying to show Beans that they were in a vulnerable position and force them to come further than just the Shrine part. So you kept the lifesteal alone. Cinderin was jumping in, baiting them to come forward. But Ninja to Pajamas were in such a great position that it, even when they tried to look like they were in a bad spot, it looked like they were in a good spot. Yeah. Uh, NIP just... Terrific game, terrific Dota. Life Sealer gets away from him, and really, Beans just had no answer. Yeah. Good, good, good game, it, good game. It really felt like just straight from the draft. As soon as that Life Stealer was picked, you know, we, we see a lot of teams go for Life Stealer Slada, but this was a game where it was picked up, and Bean Boys, they didn't have an answer. They wanted to.